By the time I got in position uh, to work with Nas, I was fully prepared at understanding what it took for him to be great. I was at Sony, I heard Nas, I pursued Nas, I wanted to, to be his manager. I went to the projects to go find him, and there's no front door to the project, so you just walk in the middle of the buildings and start asking people, do you know Nas? Uh, when we made I Rule the World, that was the first song I've ever made. When we put it out, we were number one on the Billboard 200, four weeks in a row, which means we outsold everybody. 26 years old, July 2nd, 1996. I remember the whole day in slow motion. So in the late 60s, you'd cut on AM radio. And AM radio would play Karen Carpenter, then it would play Earth, Wind and Fire, then you'd play Curtis Mayfield. Then all of a sudden, FM came. So you could take one signal and then create segmentation around it. And that's when it created rock, adult contemporary, R&B. What I realized was that advertising actually promoted and was incentivized by segmentation. And I'm not, I'm not cool with that. In fact, my job as an advertiser, as a marketer, as a communicator, is finding strength in our diversity and finding our shared values and bringing us together. I grew up in Queens Village and Jam Master J and Run DMC and those guys would come by my house. And that's when I first got introduced to rap music when I was 12 years old. 1988, which was probably the most uh, golden year of hip hop, I was 18 years old. That's exactly the age you want to be. So right before hip hop exploded, you had record companies saying, we're getting rid of this stuff. This is not selling. We have no idea what to do. And then all of a sudden after that, boom, it explodes. Biggie, Wu-Tang, Nas, Jay-Z, Bad Boy. Death Row, Tupac. Hip hop had the language, the clothing. It, it drove fashion. Not only what you wore, how you wore it. And it brought people together. It brings people together. The music invites everybody. It's not about exclusion. The art form is built off of inclusion. It's built off of call and response. Tanning is the mental complexion of a generation um, that came together from two different sides and tanning is a process. It's more about how a mentality was formed and how hip hop culture brought that form together. That's tanning. I wrote the Tanning of America so that it would never be forgotten or referenced that hip hop was a contributor of bringing a generation of people from different cultures, races, and religions together. I wasn't gonna sit there and just like not make sure that it was documented forever. Social media has done a great job of going back to the original, what AM stations was. There is no black section on Facebook. There is no black section on Instagram. And I love that about these digital platforms that they don't have that. Because people consume the platform. When I go into Walmart or I go into a Target, I don't need a sign that says black beauty section. I wanna buy the products that I wanna buy. I don't need these labels to help me determine if it's content that I should be predisposed to. Everybody's in every neighborhood now. You can go anywhere around the world by sitting at your computer and being able to understand and see how people live, what they talk about, what inspires them. And I think that should be what gets talked about as far as bringing different cultures and races and religions together. Everything you do in life, there's gonna be noise. There's a great quote. Change has never happened this fast before and it will never be this slow again. The noise is getting louder. Your generation is better equipped than any generation before to separate signal from noise. To restore the great value of this country that all men are created equal and to relegate racism to something that is left to live in history books. Um, I'm optimistic on race because we've come such a long way to the point where we have white Americans 
supporting black Americans and supporting immigrants, you're seeing the world change. It's not like just white and black anymore. It, 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 it's, it's, it's about right and wrong. We're on the side of what's right because that shit's wrong. And my race has nothing to do with that shit's wrong.